and beyond the music. It's Real Talk with G-Love and Kenny the Rocker on Florida Man Radio. On the phone, are you ready for this? No, I'm on a Sunday trip right now. Oh, would now. you stop it? We have uh, vocalist uh, and uh, piano player. Pian- yes. Pian- penis? How you say uh, that? No, no. Don't go there. Don't again. go there. No. From a band <laughs> called Look Hooked Like Helen, Nikki Stipp. How you doing, Nikki? I'm doing great. How are you? All Did- right. I'm sorry. How do, how do you say your last name? Is it Sti- Stipp? Stipe? What is it? You got it the first time. Stipp. Yep. Okay, and I messed up your name a bunch of times already. I called it Hook on Helen, uh, Looked Like Ellen, no. but, it's, but it's, it's actually Hooked Like Helen. How did you come up with that name? So it's a little bit of a tribute to a friend of mine whose name is Helen, not Ellen. Right. And she is the reason that John and I met the other half of the band um, and ended up you know, getting together and getting married and having a kid and then having this crazy musical journey. So... Um, it's just like a bunch of coincidences that ended up being destiny, and it's just a tribute to her. And oh, cool! How it yeah, all that's sweet. G love, yeah. say hi there, G love. Hello, is that it? Hi. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to throw you in the mix. <laughs> oh no, you're not. You're trying to take over like you always do. I do. No, you have you have an absolute beautiful voice. I was saying it. It kind of takes oh, me into you. a good Sunday where you're just relaxing. You know, just kind of chilling type of music. Oh, it's nice. really nice. You have a beautiful voice, by the way. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, obviously, it's you and your husband, right, John? Yeah. And yes. um, how long have you guys been together now? I mean, how long has this been happening? We'll ask Helen. I'll ask so, Helen. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> um, she, uh, we, John and I, have been doing this project since about 2016. Um, we had our first EP release in 2017. So it's been a couple of years of some crazy fun stuff, for sure. You know, so I did some research. I seen you, you had some movie soundtracks. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes. yes. Um, so the uh, song that you guys just played a piece of, Liar, um, is in a movie called High Strung Free Dance, uh, which is a sequel to a film called High Strung. It's like a um, a beautiful like dance movie franchise. And mm-hmm. the film just dropped on Netflix. And we actually have a couple of songs on the soundtrack. Um, we custom wrote a few of them. Uh, I, I kind of like, um, under like pseudonyms, wrote some other songs for some other artists on the track, on the soundtrack, but Liar has the most prominent, um, placement in the film. There's like a dance sequence to it, uh, that Juliet Doherty, she's the star of the movie. She dances just amazingly beautifully to the song and it was choreographed by Tice Diorio, um, from So You Think You Can Dance and like Taylor Swift's last tour. Um, so it's just been incredible for us to get to have our art be used, you know, by these incredibly talented artists in this broader context um so that was really cool and then i also recently composed um some music for the netflix docuseries cheer which chrissy teigen has a whole oh (laughs) boy we we were just talking about her by the way well that's why she probably brought it up she has not blocked me yeah no i (laughs) wasn't good for Ah. you now you get to watch her cry every day yeah right no it's that's that's very awesome and, and, and and very fortunate for you too because uh 
the way the music industry now, I mean, you know, uh, you know how hard it is to get radio airplay these days. So. Yeah, but you know, yeah. they're doing the right thing because, uh, you know, how you can get some original music is to put them into these, but, but these series, a- Hulu, Netflix. No, there's tons of them, though. There's, there's way more right. than when... We were growing up. Well, no, that I understand. You just you have to just be you got you got to have that connection. You know, yeah. I, I know a lot and of you people. You got to be that, talented well, too. I mean, obviously. she obviously has the music for specific types of movies and documentaries. Well, that's pretty awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no, great. <laughs> and you and you guys are based out of Cleveland. Yes, we are. We're just a little bit uh, west of Cleveland. We're out in the woods here. Yeah, in yeah, a cabin. Wow. Didn't you read their first yeah. sentence in their bio? <laughs> Said they were in a cabin? Yes. Are you in a cabin well, for real? Well, the level, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a cabin. I've been to a Man, few. Man, Cle- <laughs> Cleveland gets cold, too, in the wintertime. Oh, Lord. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I grew up in Southern California, so it was quite a shock to my system. Well, that was my next. I'm used to it now. That was my next question. So I, I take it John's from Cleveland? Is that how we ended up in Cleveland? Correct. Okay. Yes, that is what happened for sure. So I, I, I did see. Up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell me. You grew up where? Oh, no. I, I grew up out, out there in L.A. and I was doing like my solo stuff out there. And then he moved out to L.A. to join a band. And then I joined the band because of Helen. And then that's how we met. And then we, you know, decided we were going to have a family and move back to his hometown. So now, that's the story. <laughs> now, don't you think it's easier to not live in California and get more accomplished than actually living there? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I lived yeah. in LA five years myself, and the thing is, you're so busy of just trying to maintain life with the expense and, you know, right. all the BS that goes with that. Now, it's a beautiful place to live, but then right. you come back to Cleveland. Well, I mean, come on. It, 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 Cleveland's got to be like half as much rent as it was in LA, for oh, sure. like, even probably even less than that. Right, like, right. It's, it's insane, the difference, and just the whole lifestyle is a lot more slow paced and you know you kind of have time to breathe and take things in and like I mean I don't know if that's true for everyone but for me I most definitely was way more productive and way more like creative well and also now now with all technology and everything that we have at our fingertips I mean it's you know Kenny sorry to uncover your age oh my god yeah when you were you know (laughs) in a rock and roll 80s band, you guys really had to be in the moment. You had to be there because of the fact, you know, that's where you played live well, that's music. that's when you used to showcase correct. and do all that crazy It's stuff. different now. Right. I mean, you could probably live on right. the other side of the country and still be able to get gigs on movies and things like well, that. Well, so. L.A. is great to fly into and no, do business. Of course. But, I, I'm not denying that. But I see everybody out there. They, I, I got a buddy of mine that owns a house, and it's like a 250 eighty thousand dollar home and it's like a shack right you know in in florida you get a house in cleveland you get a house like that you're almost in a mansion right yeah so (laughs) yeah that's that's the start now how how (laughs) uh how old is your child he's seven i don't know how that happened wow seven years old now (laughs) that's a good year that's those are good times (laughs) no that's great i Uh, my my son i loved him between well i've loved him my whole life but um (laughs) you know there wasn't a moment that i didn't love him but yeah he that that age where it's like they get out the diaper stuff and then you know they kind of get into the getting into things and then they get to that Mm -hmm. age around five or six or seven they want to go fishing and they want to go do all kinds of fun stuff you're you're still a hero at that point you know what i mean yes now now my son my son just turned 18 he looks at I mean, not he didn't just turn 18 he is 18 and uh now i'm like a dork you know what i mean i went from being a super cool hero to like a dork well <laughs> the real truth is we probably are dorks they well, just don't man. voice it until they get old enough to right right, right. but uh <laughs> but it's it's cool to have a, a little one now is this this is your main i mean first of all i heard a few things songwriter composer uh what else did i hear i'm trying to think of the words a couple you... of movie soundtracks well no no i know that but right. i mean she writes her songs. Well, that's that's, that's pretty, huge. Well, yeah, and that's important. You have to do that. Very important. Now, when you were right. going, are, now you've always played. You just play piano, correct? I mean, that's your main instrument. Because yeah. I know your husband plays guitar and bass, correct? Correct. Yeah. Now, what do you do for drums? You got to bring in somebody for that, I guess, huh? So we have like a couple different processes depending on what song and what sound we're going for. But I do a lot of drum programming. Okay. And um, then when we feel like the song really needs something like like that live element to right. it, then I will send it. We have this awesome drummer named Jeff Martin who lives in Columbus. And mm-hmm. because of like the internet, we're able to like bounce things back and forth. And then we'll just come down to his home studio and he'll just play what I've programmed. So I don't even have to try to like explain anything. I'm just like this. And he just does it. And it's awesome. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, that's that's the new age of music. 
You know, it really is. You can just do everything virtually. Yo, it's not like, yeah, yeah, we had that conversation where you used to have to cut tapes and stuff. Now, how many times have you been to Cedar Point? Um, as a guest, probably, I'd say at least 50. Yeah. I mean, we, 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 go, we have a pass every year. Exactly. Cedar Point is the best roller coaster place in the world. It's in Sandusky, Ohio. Yeah, you won't Ohio. catch me on it. No, they got the biggest and baddest roller coasters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no See, way. I'm, I, I, the reason I tell you that because I'm from Indianapolis, right? And, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, so I used to go to Kings Island every year. That because we know we didn't oh, have cool. it right, but Cedar Point was like the big dog. That was the one when you're ready to go with your big boys out there. So they had the big rides. So okay, yeah, I know that my pass works at Kings Island, but I haven't been there. Right, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> none of that's open though, right? Are they kind of under the they, same ruling I with Disney this, and all that? I would expect they're probably half open. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, I could you wear know. a mask on one of those rides? Oh, you could try. My, yeah, you're oh, to. no way. Um, yes, they Cedar Point is open at like very like. 25% capacity or something, and we actually have a residency there um, to play music in August, which is really awesome. Oh, that's pretty so cool. Get to play live music, yeah. And that's um, but fun. they're being super safe, you know, I mean, they are they know what protocol is, because they have to be safe with all of their roller coasters right. and everything. Well, so that's so good. I, I mean, at least you guys are in a, in a niche market of music yeah. that's kind of keeping you busy. Like, you know, I, I'm always telling, you know, even harder rock and roll bands and stuff, I'm always saying, you know, once you get your originals out there, start submitting them to all of these. I'm telling you, there's so many of these shows now. You've got well, Amazon, Hulu, Prime. You've got, there's so right. many things out there that could fit. Like if you're, if it's, uh, you know, um, like a drug type of movie or episode or whatever, you know, heavy metal mm-hmm. does really well with stuff like that. You, you right. see what I'm saying? But there I'm, is I'm, a niche for right. that. I'm going to ask Nikki yeah. now. Nikki, how, how did you uh, how did you come across these contacts? I mean, I know it was like Disney related, correct? Or no? How did you how uh, did you get the ones that you did now? The the soundtracks? Did you you didn't just submit that blind, did you? I totally did, see. Did, like listen to this story. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, because I want to know. Um, uh-huh. So I'm just like scrolling through Facebook one day in late 2016, and there's a free contest, a free songwriting contest. Um, that on this indie.com platform where you can upload an iPhone video of you playing a song. And so John filmed me playing Liar, just vocal and piano, and um, we submitted it. And then the next thing we knew, we won this grand prize uh, where we got to fly out to L.A. and meet the writers and directors of the High Strung franchise, who is Michael and Janine Damien, and they're super nice and awesome, by the way. Right. And, um, you know, we retracked the song that day, and then, you know, they hadn't even written the script for the movie yet. So they were for the second movie, they were like, OK, it might it might end up in there, but we really love the song. You know, we'll see how it goes. And then later I got a call that they had like written this whole scene in the script around the song and it was in there. Um, so it literally went from like we're just sitting around in Cleveland, like not doing much to just like, bam, boom. Now we're making a music video in Bucharest, Romania, you know, with with scenes from the film in it. And, Oh, All well, bless you. I mean, that's that's, that's really that's awesome. awesome. And let me tell you the video I watched on your uh, Facebook page, and it's beautiful, you know. Oh, thank I mean, you. whoever yeah, produced that did a, an amazing job on just the footage and you sitting in that beautiful dome-looking area. And, you know, it just really comes across with your personality. I don't really know you, but just in your music, it, it fits so well. Have you, did you see the full I did video? See, I did that see video the full video. The video is, is pro. It looks really, 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 really nice, yeah. So now yeah, it I, was like literally a dream. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you did. I know. I read some stuff. I know you did like a. You started off back in what 2016 with like a five song EP or something like that, and then you guys now um, have a full album. I I don't. I didn't catch all that. So I mean, it, we we were kind of, when we first started out, we were just sort of releasing things here and there and like demo type stuff and just getting our feet wet. And I had done some um like placement stuff for you know like the Kardashians and stuff like that, like little cues in the background. Right. Um, but then like our first like real Hook Like Helen release is uh, 2017 EP, but it had nine songs on it because we had two remixes because we basically sort of took the best of what we've been doing and then like put it together. Right. Um, and then just in 2019, we released uh, Tragedy of Physics, which is a five song EP and it includes Liar and then a couple other songs that we've got like music video for and stuff. Um, and then we're just working on new music now. So. That's perfect. Good for you guys. Yeah. I mean, it's Thank hard you. in the music industry. It it's is not, very hard. It's not easy. So yeah. to find a way to kind of circumvent and, 
and find a way to uh, you know get your voices heard and your music. I think it's amazing. So what Congrats. do you? So Thank you. yeah. So what do you have planned? I mean, obviously, 2020s. I mean, I don't even know what to say about the what's going on. <laughs> We're now. always lost for words every day. Nobody does. <laughs> but uh, I mean, are you guys are you guys putting a tour together? Are you cutting a new album during the downtime? What what's your next move? So. Our plan was um, to do kind of a mini like regional tour um, right around March, <laughs> mm-hmm. and we had a sh- our first show at uh, Stella's Music Club in Cleveland that we had to cancel on March 13th. And, like mm-hmm. everything really revved up like around like the 24 hour period before that. Yeah. We're like, I think we have to cancel. I think this is a pandemic. Yeah. So that got canceled. A couple of other dates got canceled. Um, you know, we were sad about it, but then we ended up getting to do some really cool live streams, which was awesome. Um, we live streamed at the Sandusky State Theater, which is like this beautiful old um, 1500 seat theater, just like gorgeous chandeliers and all this stuff. Nice. It's, it's amazing acoustics. It was weird because there was no audience, <laughs> right? Um, but it was amazing to get to do it. And um, actually, it's a, about a week after we shot it, um, you know, the local newspaper like uh, live streamed it from their YouTube. Oh, there good. Was good for you. A, yes, it was super cool, super nice, really nice community. But um, a windstorm destroyed the theater like a week later. Oh, <laughs> so, wow. That's weird, <sighs> too. Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. Like, what a trip. It was crazy. Um, but anyway, yeah, live streaming. And then, you know, because we do so much of the music ourselves in our home studio, we're just like really trying to take advantage of this time. Right. And just like record and track and come up with just new songs, writing lots of music. And, um, you know, we've got the, the residency at Cedar Point, um, but we don't really know what's going to happen with live stuff exactly. outside of that. So right. we're just trying to, like, get the music going, and then we'll hopefully have a better idea of what the heck's going on in 2021. I guess, <laughs> yeah. It's so weird to lose. You're, you know, the other thing I want to ask you, too, when you go out on the road, how many people do you have in the band? What, what's your, what, what kind of setup do you have? Is two guitars, so, one guitar, bass? How do you do it? It's super weird because of technology. Um, it's the two of us. Just the two of you, and okay. we have, I've got myself on keys, and then John plays bass most of the time, but he's also got a, a guitar there okay. um, for certain parts where the guitar is, like, real prominent, you know. Um, and then we have our backing tracks of everything that we record. Um, so basically it sounds like a full live band and very, you know, similar to what the record sounds like when we play live. And I'm able to get up from behind the keys sometimes and then we'll kind of strip it down and just do real acoustic. Um, but it's like, we just have like our rig, like this box <laughs> right. and then our instruments and that's it. No, that's all. Listen, we've, we've done some indie artists over the last few, month or two and we've had a lot of duos. Believe yeah, it or not, it just, duos. just duos now. And yeah. I'm like, uh, for month, financially, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, you're not coming out with an eight piece band, <laughs> but listen, um, Nikki, yeah. how did, well, tell, first of all, tell John that we said hi. And then, um, oh, yes, definitely. and how does everybody get a hold of you? They want to check so, out the band. We have hooked like and that's got uh, links to all of our news and to all of our socials. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, and then, you know, any platform that you like to stream or download music on, you can find us on, um, we're on YouTube, Spotify, uh, iTunes, Apple music, either Amazon, all that stuff. They're young so, kids, yeah, you man. They're on that. everything. Come on. That's just the way it is with you young <laughs> well, ones. Uh, it's, it's no, awesome. it is true. That's how they know how to do it. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining real talk with Jay love. And, uh, we'll oh, get, yes. we'll get your interview over. I hope you guys can share it. Uh, you know, to keep everybody Absolutely. relevant, we'd really appreciate it. Yeah, and just let us know if you ever Thank get to you. Florida. You got a friend in Florida. Let Absolutely. us know when you come down, and hopefully, we'll see you on tour soon. Oh, that would be amazing! Thank you so much, you guys. Thank have a, you. Have a great night. Radio with Justin.